Now, to get us back on track, I want to introduce the next speakers for you. I met this fella over several years ago, many, many, well, over 10 years ago. And uh, when he saw the presentation over the phone, we did a webinar for him, he got done. He pulled off to the side of the road to listen. He watched it on his telephone and he got me on the phone and had me ask an hour's, over an hour's worth of questions on the spot right after the webinar was over. But this guy and his wife, when you get a husband and wife team that support each other, that are a force to be reckoned with, this is what this couple is. He sells over $50 million worth of real estate, pretty much himself. He's running 24 seven and we looked for a way, his big why was to be able to spend a bit more time with his family and not be on the road so much selling real estate. And so I want to bring to the stage right now Jay and Ashley Nelson from Tennessee. You got this? Woo! Man, this is crazy. This is fun though, right? Yeah. Um, you know, the first thing I will say as we sit here and watch everybody, I mean, we don't, Ashley and I, I mean, we don't even, I don't even feel worthy. I mean, I, I never thought we'd be following Jay Kinder, man. I mean, like, we're just thankful. And I guess, you know, Jay had 43 slides and this is my notes. But I will tell you this, I'm going to tell you what we stand for and probably why it has, has you know, we've got... 899 active people at EXP. We've, we've enrolled 41. I just go out and we roll. She kind of keeps track of everything. But um, here, here's a couple things I would say. You know, we don't feel worthy. We don't feel like we're better than anybody. If you're a brand new agent and you're in the back, you know, if it wasn't for that guy on the front row over there that, that taught me how to sell real estate 20 years ago, that took me out of a restaurant, I do not think that I'm better than anybody in this room. And I tell people that all the time. I want to empower you to believe in yourself. Here's a couple of key points for us in EXP. Um, I believe you got to feel, you got you to lead with your heart with this thing, guys. This is not about transactions. I don't sell real estate that way. I give my heart. Your heart's got to become first. People can read bullshit, all right? But they can also read when you are real. And you got to believe in it. And I'm sorry I cussed. My wife is really mad right now. <laughs> sorry, baby. I love you. I just got excited. I couldn't help myself. Um, <laughs> but, but lead with your heart. And I really feel that this is a, this is a movement for the cause. There's a cause here. You know, I spent 15 years selling real estate, selling, going, selling on Sunday, working. I showed 11 houses uh, last Sunday, you know, and I don't even have to. I do it because I want to. I do it because I love our industry. You've got to believe that EXP was, was delivered here by Glenn Sanford to save the industry as real estate agents. And I believe that. So my wife is, is really, I mean, she's the powerhouse behind what we're doing. And she knows how to build this business and she keeps me on track. And so I'm gonna turn it over to the most beautiful woman in the room, my wife, Ashley. So we are both agents. Um, and so I'll say to you, so there's two different skill sets. There's a skill set of being a real estate agent and there's a skill set of being able to recruit a recruiter. Do you, does it, do you agree? That's two different things. But you know what, my grandparents owned Century 21 in the town that I'm from in Louisiana originally, my whole life. And what did I see them do? Recruit, my whole life. And where's the money come from in real estate? The commission that agents bring in, and it's just how does that get dispersed? So whenever we saw that video of Rob Flick, halfway through the video, Jay was at Remax at the time, I was in investing and not an agent, but am now. At the time, we got about halfway through that video and I hit pause and I said, you're leaving Remax and we're doing this. <laughs> and he filled out the application that night. And so it, it is worth your time to learn both skills 
because before EXP, we weren't allowed to learn the skill or need to know the skill of recruiting. But it is important and it is life changing and has been life changing for us. So we're gonna give you just a few tips, like practical tips of what we've done to bring on other agents. So stand up if you know somebody that is not a real estate agent, that does not in, live in your town. They don't live in your city, they're not a real estate agent, but you know them so well, you've got their cell number, you've known them for a long time. They're a friend, they're a friend, stand up. Do you know somebody that's not a real estate agent? Come on. Okay, there we go. They're wondering what is going on. Okay, so we have brought on agents. No, stay, stay up, stay up, stay up, stay up. Wow, you're tough. Okay, so we brought on agents because we believe that this business and really every business is relationship driven, right? So if you could pull out your phone right now, that one person, why you stood up and you said, hey, so and so. I'm in real estate in Nashville, Tennessee. I know you've known that for a long time, but you know what? I'm actually building my brokerage nationwide. Do you know any real estate agents that are great agents in your neck of the woods? That's it. They're gonna tell you somebody, and then you can send them a text and talk to them and get that referral from them. Girl. And they're gonna be like, oh, I did not want to talk to this person at all about another brokerage, but because of so-and-so and my respect for this person, I'm gonna to talk to them. So, get out your phones right now. Everybody, I don't see it happening. Pull out your phone right now, right now. Send a text. Somebody's got their phone up over there, I love it. And send a text, say, hey, whoever that is, I know you know I've been in real estate for a while in Nashville, Dallas, wherever you are, but I'm actually building my brokerage nationwide. Do you know any great agents in your neck of the woods or your city? That's it. And then let's see if they send you a referral back. Let me say something to that. And what's so brilliant about that is everybody loves their agent in their towns. And so they're not an agent. They're like, oh, you got to meet Becky. She's awesome. She sold us five houses. Here's her number. And, and you get a referral. I mean, how much harder is it to convert a raw lead off of Zillow or somebody says, you're the greatest realtor, call them. So it's kind of the same concept. And Ashley's done such a, an amazing job at connecting. We don't force EXP on people. We just share a vision of what EXP can be for other agents. And you know, one of the things I wanna say is, and, and this is really, um, everybody's working, everybody's trying, and everybody's like, you can stop talking now, Jay. I'm talking to some agents. Um, but, but we just make EXP fun, and we lead with fun. And we, we have events at our home. We have a farm in Nashville, and we have, we just invite every, all of the agents. We're like, fly in. You guys come in, come, you know, if you want to crash at our house. I mean, we're just fun people. And I think that's been. And we're so laid back, I don't even cook. I'm like, it's just potluck. Come on, let's just hang out. Yeah. And that's what we do with our agents. And we have like 200 agents come show up and just hang out all the time and so and and we're also doing and i'm just kind of take these are my notes remember guys um we do these events in nashville and we we don't you know brandon it, it, i tell you something good that jay said and jay was it, so dead on you're creating you're creating leadership when you're not around, okay? And I'll give an example, because Brandon Patrick, who got me into real estate, sitting right beside Jay Kinder right now, great guy. I, I owe him everything in real estate. And Brandon does the lunch and learn. And he stepped up and he said, Jay, I got this lunch and learn, man. I'm gonna do this lunch and learn over here. And he does it and he's there and he, he, he's teaching agents and he's helping agents. And I just like, Brandon, that's his deal. We, I don't even do lunch and learns, guys. I do webinars and it works for us and, and, and something that's very important. Guys, you gotta figure out what works for you. I mean, 
J's, X's, and O's, my gosh, I mean, I'm sitting over there soaking it in. I mean, we're all learning. And you might take one little thing from him and something from Scott Lewis and Glenn Sanford's going to say something. Figure out how EXP works for you and make it fun. That's so true. And, you know, we just, we don't only do webinars. Another thing we do is top golf events. So we also believe that have fun with your agents and agents that they want to talk to. So we do events that have nothing to do with a presentation about EXP. All it is is having a good time together. So every other Friday, we have a Top Golf event. Agents, our agents come, they bring other agents, and it's not even EXP. It's just let's, let's hang out, let's have a good time. Everybody wants to have a good time. So I would say even while you're here, Show videos of you just having fun. People are attracted to having a good time and having fun. So, um, okay, let's go back to what we were doing with a referral. And so after you get that referral from somebody, then you send that to that other person and say, hey, we have a mutual friend, so-and-so, and you say who that is and how you know them. They said this about you, in quotes. And they're like, wow, that person said that about me. You must be a really great agent. I'm so excited to talk to you. I would really love to know what you have going on in real estate and to share with you what we have going on in real estate. Is that cool? Do you have a, a, a time to talk in the next couple of days? So that's how we get a lot of our referrals. You know, another thing I would like to say, and, you know, like I said, we don't really have a fancy pitch here, um, uh, but like, you know, I think it really, our success has a lot to do with the fact that we are so connected to do this together. And I understand that there's a lot of people that maybe your wife is at home with five kids or, you know, and you're the one that's out there hammered out. I just want to encourage you guys. And I know in each situation is different. So I don't want to force that on anybody, but look, include your spouse in EXP. Because this is a lifestyle, and I believe that you, you can be more successful if your spouse is, just feels like he or she's a part of it, even though you might be the one on the real estate sign and, and stuff like that. So that was just one of the little notes I took while I'm sitting down there. Um, the other thing is, is be obsessed. Um, be obsessed with learning the industry. Uh, learn everything you can about how to be a great realtor. Like I'm obsessed guys. I mean, I, I don't hard, I sleep very little because I'm like, I'm st Jay Kinder doesn't know it, but I stalk the living crap out of you, Jay. I mean, I watch Jay Kinder at four o'clock in the morning. She's like, are you coming to bed? Or are you watching Jay Kinder? I mean, but he's taught me We're I'm learning. Some of you guys, I, I, you know, I follow you guys and I watch what you're doing and I'm obsessed with the knowledge of this industry. The other thing I wanted to say, and then I'm handing it back to her to close it out. I believe that one of the, I had, I was sitting down with a guy and I am not, I'm not saying this to step on anybody that doesn't sell houses. Look, Gene Frederick has nothing to prove that he's not gonna sell a house this year. He sold 180 in a year, okay? He, he has nothing to prove. It's not about it, but I will say for me, just for me, when I'm out there selling, you know, $20 million with no buyer's agents in that first year at EXP, I told Ashley, and I did, I, I remember we came back from San Diego and I said, and she goes, we're going all in. I said, I know. And she goes, well, what are we gonna do? And I said, you know what, baby? I'm going to sell more dadgum houses in the next 12 months than I ever have because when we wake up in a, a year and we've built a brokerage, we had 491 agents 12 months later and I closed $31,386,000 worth of real estate in 12 months with no buyer's agents and one assistant. And the reason I did it is I had to prove to myself, I had to prove to myself that when I sat down in front of an agent, and they go, well, I'm too busy. Oh, I, I don't have time to recruit. I'm like, you can do this. It wasn't like to say, oh, I look at me, how great I am. I want you to believe that you can still go sell 40 houses a year or whatever that is and still build the brokerage at the same time. And then agents are seeing you doing both. And they're like, 
Oh my gosh, he built a brokerage, but he's still selling houses. And it attracts agents and they respect you. So don't stop selling. You know, I tell Glenn this all the time. Me and Glenn, Glenn has been so accessible to me. He thinks I'm nuts. Maybe I entertain him a little bit. I don't know. But, but I tell him, I said, man, we got to always remember, we have to teach, empower, and, and focus on teaching agents to sell houses. Because if we don't sell houses, we don't have an EXP brokerage. You finish up. But that goes just back to what I said in the beginning. The only money that comes in from real estate is the commission that an agent makes. So we have to train and empower agents to know how to sell houses, to know how to be good agents. And then also to incorporate how do I be a good recruiter? Because like we said, it's two different skill sets. So we just feel honored and blessed to be up here. And like we said, we got the vision immediately we did not really understand that it would turn into what it is in 27 months. We just really didn't. So we're very thankful, and we're thankful for everybody in this room, and we hope you even more success than we've had. So thank you. Thanks, guys, and thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you.